Okay, so in this video, we will consider trigonometric integrals involving tangent and secant of x. And we need essentially three results. The first one is the fact that 1 plus tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x. And of course, so this will allow you to replace a secant squared of x as a function of tangent squared. You could of course subtract 1 and write that tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. And this will allow you to replace a tangent squared by a function of secant of x. And let's look at the derivative of tangent and secant. So if you take the derivative of tangent of x, you get secant squared of x. And if you take the derivative of secant of x, we get secant of x tangent of x. And the idea in this case is if you factor a secant squared of x, and you can express everything left over in terms of tangent, then you can let u be tangent and you'll be able to evaluate the integral with a simple u substitution. On the other hand, if you factor a secant of x tan of x, and you can express everything left over as a function of secant of x, if you let u be secant of x, then you'll have once again a simple u substitution. So let's consider our first example. So what if we ask to evaluate tangent cubed of x times secant squared. Now this is a very simple problem as we already have factored the secant squared of x dx and so we'll let u be tangent and everything is already, if we exclude the secant squared, a function of tangent. So the integral here is essentially trivial. We let u be tangent of x. The differential of u is the derivative of tangent which is secant squared of x times of course dx. And now we replace tangent cubed is u cubed and secant squared of x dx is simply du. And we have a simple polynomial. We apply the power rule, we get u to the 4 over 4 plus the arbitrary constant of integration. And finally we replace back in terms of x, u by 10 of x, so we get 10 to the 4 of x over 4 plus c. And we're done. So this problem was rather easy as we already had the perfect form. Everything was a function of tangent times a secant squared dx. Let's look at a slightly more interesting problem. So what if we integrate, and what I'll change quite simply is I'll change the 2 on the secant for a 3. So I'll keep tangent cubed of x, but now secant cubed of x dx. And as always, the first question when you have a trig integral involving secant and tangent is do I factor a secant squared of x or do I factor a secant tangent? Well, think of what happens here if you factor a secant squared. If you pull from secant cubed a secant squared of x dx, you'll be left with a secant. But if you factor a secant squared, everything else must be a function of tangent. So your leftover secant will have to be a function of tangent. And if you look here, secant of x would be the square root of 1 plus tangent squared of x. And this will create a square root in the integral, which would make your life miserable. So factoring here a secant squared is horrible. Horrible idea. So let's try and factor instead a secant tangent, and let's see what happens. But the bottom line is, if you're ever about to introduce a square root in your integral, especially a square root over a sum of two terms, avoid it.
go with a different factorization. So let's factor our secant tangent. So if we take away a secant and a tangent, we're left with, on the left, tangent squared of x, secant squared of x, and then the secant of x, tan of x. So we have factored our secant of x, tan of x, which means if we want to make a u substitution, everything else, meaning this part, must be a function of secant. We already have a secant, but here we have a tangent squared. This must be replaced into a function of secant of x, but tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. So we can replace now. This is our tangent squared. Everything left over is in the right form. And now we're good to go, as we have everything as a function of secant times a secant of x, tan of x dx, we can make our u substitution being secant of x. The differential du will be secant of x, tan of x, times, of course, dx. And now we'll have a simple polynomial, replacing secant of x by u, so u squared minus 1, times u squared, times secant of x, tan of x, dx, which is simply du. So we have a polynomial. We multiply things out, which gives us u to the 4 minus u squared. We apply the power rule on both terms, and we finally replace into a function of x. Replacing u, of course, by secant of x. And if you want it here, you could factor a secant cubed but we'll leave it like this. Let us consider one last example in this video. And I will again tweak the previous problem. We had tangent cubed, secant cubed. We'll keep the tangent cubed, but use a secant of the 4 now. And what's interesting with this integral, and I will let you verify, is both methods apply. We can factor a secant squared, and then we write everything else in terms of tangent by replacing the leftover secant squared by 1 plus tangent squared, or we could factor a secant tangent, then we'll have a leftover of tangent squared, and replace that by secant squared minus 1. And both methods work like a charm here. So We'll go here with factoring a secant squared, but make sure that you try to solve this integral by factoring a secant tangent. As we have factored again a secant squared dx, we want everything else to be a function of tangent, so we replace secant squared by 1, <coughs> sorry, by 1 plus tangent squared. And now we can make a simple substitution, letting u be tangent of x. The differential du, of course, will be secant squared of x dx. And the integral becomes, once again, a polynomial. Replacing tangent of x by u, so we have u cubed, times 1 plus u squared, 
times secant squared dx, which is of course simply du. We multiply out, and now it remains to apply the power rule on both terms. And of course, replacing everything in terms of x, replacing u by tangent of x. And we're done. You could, of course, factor a tangent of the 4 from both terms, but we'll leave it like this. Now, I want to conclude with one simple comment. If you factor instead of a secant squared dx, you factor a secant tangent dx, you will make a different u substitution. Instead of letting u be tangent of x, you will let u be secant of x. You will then have a function of u, and in the end, when you convert back, you'll have a function not of tangent of x, but of secant of x. And both answers are valid. If you would replace here tangent, of tangent squared, sorry, by 1 plus, by secant squared minus 1, you could convert back to a function of secant. If you have a function of secant, if you factor the secant tangent, you could replace your secant squared by a 1 plus tangent squared and arrive at the same answer, and you may be off up to a constant. So again, keep this in mind. It's not because your answer looks different than the one I'm providing in the answer key that you've made a mistake. It might just be that you factored something different and used a different u substitution. And that's it.